Que pasa mi gente, it's B. I just wanted to hop on here really quick and just talk with you guys. You may have heard or maybe you haven't. Um, me and my En La Sala Familia have decided to hold off on releasing a new episode of our podcast and instead re-air our voting episode where we talk about the power of the Latino vote, specifically empowering our Latina women to go out and vote because they alone have the power to change the outcome of this entire election. And I speak about these things with America Ferreira, as well as having the opportunity to interview Senator Harris about the things affecting our communities directly. COVID-19, immigration, as well as women's rights and what we can do to empower our women and the things that inspire us. Our intentions with re-airing this episode come with a lot, a lot, a lot of emotions. I feel like when we shot this episode compared to now, I even share this with um, a heavier heart as the hours pass and getting closer and closer to election day. I can't emphasize enough to you guys the importance of our vote. And if there's one thing that I want to say to anyone who's watching this, it's vote with empathy. As someone like myself who is so privileged and for many reasons, I myself voted thinking we, not me. And if there's anybody even in my industry, you know, cause a lot of us could vote based off of how it would affect our bank accounts. Let's think about the ones who aren't as lucky as us. I identify more with my community than I do my class. I know where I came from and who I came from. And voting for them means everything to me. Ugh, I told myself I was going to cry. I don't think I've ever cared this much. And I thought I cared so much then. But this journey, this year in itself has taught me so much. And going out of my way to educate myself and not be influenced by other people's thoughts or feelings, but really go out and do the work myself. It has been so inspiring and so revealing in so many ways. And it's also been very heavy, very heavy on my mental health, on my heart. And so also just want to send some like love and light to all of you guys who I don't know about you but my anxiety has been crippling and so overwhelming in so many ways um I had my first panic attack in eight months last night I thought I was doing so good and um yeah I still woke up with that knot in my throat that vibrating feeling in my chest So just know you're not alone. I'm right there with you. We're in this together and I love you guys.